starting on the, on the war on drugs. I mean, it's obvious why they don't want marijuana legal. You know, Pfizer and all the other big drug corporations, number one, they can't compete with marijuana, and they don't want to. And number two, it's a way to get you into the system. Whether it's for, you know, a ticket or a misdemeanor, it's a way to put you into their, their records, all right? Now, on a larger level, you know, you may have heard rumors that our government may, you know, take in, uh, ship in the cocaine. I want to tell you right now, that's not a rumor, all right? They got caught during the Iran-Contra scandal. It is time we stopped arresting, and that's on my mind today. It is time we stopped arresting and started respecting responsible marijuana smokers. As for medical use, personal pleasure, religious use, or whatever other reason, it's basically protected under your right to privacy. And thirdly, I do want a legally regulated market. I want a place where consumers can go buy good quality marijuana in a safe and secure environment. That's generally called legalization, and we favor it. Just as we learned with alcohol prohibition, it's only when you do away with the black market can you do away with the, the, uh, the violence associated with the black market. So we need to legalize marijuana now. It is true that marijuana improves one's taste of food. Uh, it, in, it improves our appreciation of music and our appreciation of good sex. And that, those are not bad things. Above all, the war on drugs is a war on our civil liberties. The war on drugs has been used to strip Americans of their civil liberties. It's been used to attack our court system. It's been used to attack our civil rights. It's been used to excuse every sort of irregular and improper behavior. for this planet because this plant is a miracle plant it truly is a miracle plant